Hi everyone, just a quick video to just go through this really fast. So this is the program, it's called Instant NGP. You can download it from GitHub. Um, and once you download it, it's uh, got an exe file that you simply just run and then this will pop this program up and the program's blank. Uh, what you need is some photos that you have made. Um, so here's some photos I took of uh, my partner and my little girl and we were in Wales in the UK. And if you look, you can see from these photos that they're taken side, you know, almost continuous. Um, you can take video as well and then extract the images out of them. It doesn't really matter. But the obviously photos, and I'm, all I'm concentrating on is the. Uh, sorry, uh, all you, all I'm concentrating on is the actual, the subjects. I don't care about the background. Now, if you were doing a uh, static image of a building or something then obviously you can keep going back and getting more information but if you've got people you've got 10-15 seconds tops so once I've done that I can drag and drop them into the instant NGP program um, which is a new update that it does now you can just simply drag and drop them now they need to have been um, sort of uh, the cloud map needs to be generated by a program called call map and that's more complicated um, that's, uh, I could go into that, but that, not now. So this is the training. So this takes all of that data and tries to build a three-dimensional image, a NERF, um, from that data. So these sliders and everything that you see here are basically it just, you know, trying to render that. Um, and it will just keep building, 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 on the, mainly on the... the the central point that you took so you see the, two, the thing that I took was uh, my, my partner and the daughter everything else was kind of irrelevant I didn't take any of the background I just took them so all the all the stuff in the background is kind of residual so once that starts to slow down on its render you'll see there's a curve on the left hand side um, on the top left you see that curve so it's just me looking around the date there's loads of artifacts in it um, and the artifacts are caused by um, just uh, you didn't have enough picture data when you took it and that's normal and there's you know like I say the the higher the quality of the images you take the more data it can extract normally that's not always true sometimes it's a diminishing returns so that curve is going down quickly which means there's less and less data that's extracting which usually means it's good to go and you've kind of finished your render. You can leave that running. There are like a million different options that you can choose from. And trust me, I know like five, ten percent of them. But they all do different things and they all render it and it's just it just each one will blow you away. So now that's me, I've just clicked on uh, going to VR. So that's rendering the left and the right eye now on the desktop. So now the clever bit is obviously the software will open my VR headset as well. So I'll switch to VR. And this is where you can't see, unfortunately, what it looks like. Um, once you're in VR, you have the full depth perception of the scene. So the people are there as figures in front of you, and you see them, and you can kind of like, they're like real as such. So the VR is a bit kind of hard to move around in, and I'm sure this will be tweaked out. Um, and I'm just, you can obviously make the scene bigger or smaller. Um, and you see like my daughter's face is kind of like you know not right because she was moving um, but I just wanted to show you like a basic scene and there's lots of things missing but it, to be really honest with you that doesn't matter um, what matters is the the scene and if you look really carefully I mean it's just beautiful because I can see from my daughter's perspective I can sort of look up at her, her you know her mother and I can see you could imagine doing that in years to come and it's just, I don't know, it just really blows me away. Anyway, thanks for watching.